A new school choice law in Iowa would allow families to receive more than $7,500 a year in taxpayer money for private school tuition. If a student transfers from public to private school, the public school would lose the lion's share of that $7,500, which usually goes to the public school district. John Chapman visited both the public and private school and has more. When Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds signed the state school choice bill into law, it didn't set off a public-private school war in the eastern part of the metro. What Dr. Murillo has done um, has put them in a really, really good place, and they've just they've grown immensely since she's been here. And really, they're all our kids. We should be working together to really support all families and all students. Dr. Vicki Murillo is the superintendent of the Council Bluffs Community School District. Dr. Murillo is still trying to figure out the new school choice law and how the vouchers are going to work, but she does have a personal opinion. I do believe that public dollars should go for public schools. And I think that the challenging piece of this is going to be how do we continue to fund the public schools. Dr. Murillo says Iowa already has a school choice program in place, and having students transfer out of different schools around the district would upset the student-teacher balance. And I think that's the misconception that we are chasing dollars. We're not chasing dollars in public schools. What we are looking to do is to ensure that we can provide a high-quality educational experience for all students, no matter where you live in the state of Iowa. There are some private schools that are more interested in how the new law can help their current families. For our families that are here that aren't especially high in income, um, that work hard to put their kids here, uh, look for scholarships or look for things of that nature, this is to us is an answer to prayer for them. Larry Gray is the executive director at Heartland Christian School in Council Bluffs. He says growth would be good for a school but he doesn't want to add extra backpacks and coats and make classes too big. And most importantly, they will not sell the mission of their school for state vouchers. And a part of that mission is, is the convictions that we have with the Word of God. And that's number one to us, and it always will be. Right now, both sides are still trying to figure out exactly what comes next after the ink dries on Iowa's new school choice law. On your side in Council Bluffs, I'm John Chapman, 6 News. The Iowa law will phase in over three years and will eventually cost the state almost $345 million per year.